five, six, seven, eight. Oh. Oh. Up, up, pick up shot. That's the turn and boom, boom, boom. That's right. oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's May of 93, and Barbara Mandrell is stretching her muscles and her talent. There's got to be more to life. Under the watchful eye of her friend, director-choreographer Scott Salmon, Barbara's in the midst of a grueling month-long rehearsal. Better be good, because look at my shoes. Don't you think I need new shoes? Our goal is to be better with this year's show than we were last year, and it's very hard to be competitive with yourself, but that's who we compete with. like a movie yeah there's lots of movies like that I've gone to see many times I love them so much but shows I think people want to see a new movie I think it would crush me if they didn't get up on their feet you know they spoiled me rotten I'd go for that nobody goes for it like Barbara Twice a day, she makes sure her fans see a show. The new show is a roller coaster ride for folks who come here to Branson's Grand Palace. From the arms of her four Broadway dancers to a spin around the set in more ways than one. She still takes a turn with the band. And turns on the heat. Besides a little rockin', there's also a little soft shoe. A big band boogie. So, what makes Barbara Mandrell take a flying leap of faith to risk life and limb? The visual part of the show. That's what it says. Show. Show. Not tell. Show. We talked to Barbara's home about her drive to be the best. It's fun. It's so demanding. And um, it's the most physical show. It's even more physical than one I had that I put together um, 10 years ago called Lady is a Champ. This one is more physical because I don't have a resting place. I do about, I personally do about two hours and 11 to 15 minutes. Just me. And that's not counting. There is a 20 minute intermission, but I'm not counting that. And so I'm, um, I, I, I'm really pushing myself when I do it, but I, I like that. Well, remember uh, a while back after the accident happened, I guess some of the fans might have thought, well, gosh, you know, Barbara won't be able to dance like she used to and give it all well, she's got. I looked got. right in your eyes and said, mm-mm. Mm -hmm. but, but the first day that I asked my sister Earlene to come to rehearsal, and I think we did the opening number, and she sat there in the little folding chair, and I'm doing the number, and I'm trying to sell it to her, you know. And, and I watched her, and there were just tears just pouring down her face. And I thought, I thought I was doing well, <laughs> you know. And she just, afterwards, she just took my hand, and she said, I am so thankful I never, never dreamed you could do this again. And she was just grateful. And those tears of joy, you know. And I feel good. I've never felt better. Uh, I don't think I've ever been in better shape. You know that the fans would come to see you, even if you just stood there and sang your songs. Why do you try so hard and do the big production and push yourself? 
I feel, um, oh, this is so corny sounding, and I don't know a, a way to say it. I just, it's the truth. You know all the little expressions that we in show business always say? I want people to have their money's worth. I want to give them my all. They've gone to a lot of trouble and money to be there. That's absolutely it, but I don't know how to express it other than perhaps to add to it. When I've done so much, it makes me very, very satisfied and happy because I can look all of the people that, that came to view it and be in the audience, I can look them right in the eye and smile and, and when they say how they felt about the show and give me compliments, I can say, thank you. And then next year, I must give them more. Wait, let me do this. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, Mo. Hey, Mo. Yeah. 